Hey everyone, my name is Justin and uh, I post a lot of uh, different things on this channel. Um, you can check out the playlist to see um, everything's organized on what I post. Uh, one of the things like this is, uh, you know, some kidney disease and dialysis tips and uh, um, stories from my own experiences. Uh, and today we're going to cover uh, the top three um, things that you need to watch for when you're on dialysis or you have kidney disease. Um, there should be three things in your food that you watch for all the time and that um, your nephrologist is going to be looking for in your blood work to uh, you know, monitor um, how you're doing health-wise. And um, the three uh, most important things that you need to watch when you eat the food uh, and you uh, have your diet for whether it's dialysis or if you're going through kidney disease without dialysis. Either way, um, these things are um, things that you need to watch for that your kidneys aren't going to be able to um, get out of your body correctly if your kidneys are not working to their full potential. So uh, the first thing we're going to talk about today is potassium. Uh, potassium is found in so many things, uh, so many foods, so many drinks. Um, potassium is found in a lot of uh, sodas. Uh, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, um, you know, RC, whatever cola brand you have, um, depending on where you are in the world and what you drink, uh, those are all uh, pretty much uh, high levels of potassium in those drinks. You want to try to stay away from those. If you're on dialysis, they tell you to stay away from all dark sodas completely. Um, the only exception is root beer because root beer does not have uh, potassium or um, a lot of uh, the things that colas and sodas do. Cola, soda, wherever you are in the world, uh, I'm sure you call it a different thing, but we call it, uh, we call it soda or pop up here in Western Pennsylvania. Um, so the potassium in your blood is uh, basically, uh, this can um, affect your heart in your cardiovascular system. If uh, you have too much potassium, um, your heart can go into different rhythms and uh, it can cause heart attacks, can cause all kinds of cardiac problems. So uh, you don't want to eat foods all the time with a ton of potassium on them with them if your body's not getting rid of it. Um, if it, that, That's actually called hyperkalemia is when you have too much potassium in your blood and in your body. And also potassium, if your potassium is too low, which can also happen with kidney patients, is you'll get cramps. Um, you can have heart problems as well with that. But a lot of uh, patients have symptoms of cramping when their potassium is low. And uh, this, this obviously isn't good either. So you have to keep that fine balance, and that's why most of the time you get blood work done a lot when you're a kidney disease patient or a dialysis patient. So that way your your doctor or nephrologist can uh, determine if you need to have more potassium or less potassium in, in your diet. And uh, it, it can be tough, but if you're monitoring what you eat, you can uh, usually keep this uh, pretty well regulated. Just don't want to have too much, don't want to have too little. Got to stay in the middle with that potassium. Um, the next uh, mineral you need to watch in your blood is phosphorus. And phosphorus is basically in everything. Um, this helps your bones and teeth in your body. And it helps convert food into energy. Um, so normally if you have good working kidneys, your body releases any extra phosphorus into your urine and you just uh, go to the bathroom and it all comes out. If you have kidney disease or you're on dialysis, this builds up and even on dialysis, you can't uh, pull out as much phosphorus as what you need to sometimes. So if you're eating a lot of foods with phosphorus, which is like dairy, um, uh, basically everything, breads, dairy, uh, chocolate, 
things like that. They all have uh, high levels of phosphorus in them, and uh, this can be uh, really an issue if it's high because uh, your bones can get brittle and you can have other health problems with it. So uh, you want to try to eat foods with less phosphorus in it, or your nephrologist or doctor may um, prescribe to you what's called a phosphorus binder, and that's a pill or two pills that you take with every single meal and every snack and that way when the food's in your stomach it kind of pulls out the phosphorus from that food and it ends up getting eliminated through uh through your waste your feces and or poop you know if you want to not be technical but uh that's how that is eliminated then and because like i said dialysis and um can't get it out completely and if uh you, you have kidney problems your urine it's not going to go out of your urine like it should so um that's phosphorus and that's potassium and then the third and one of the most important i would say is sodium um many kidney disease patients or dialysis patients this is something you're very familiar with um salt sodium salt um and you want to try to keep that under two grams a day or whatever your nephrologist recommends for you for me all my nephrologists have always said two grams or less a day the less the better obviously but your body still does need a little bit of salt to uh to keep the electrolytes correct in your body um so you can use uh alternatives such as uh mrs dash is one of the salt alternatives that a lot of uh, kidney patients use and it's pretty good and still spices up your food and um, acts like a salt but it's not very high in sodium um, and, and the reason you want to stay away from sodium is because um, any salt or sodium makes you retain water and obviously with kidney problems you have trouble getting that water out anyhow so if your body starts retaining water even more you're going to swell up more and it's going to cause more problems for you so you want to stay away from you know salt as much as you can but you still want to make sure you get a little bit into your into your body each day so the, the main thing with these three uh things potassium phosphorus and sodium is that you keep these closely monitored make sure your nephrologist is having you do blood work yeah it sucks having blood work all the time um if you have dialysis, um, it's not as bad because they take it out of the tubes with your dialysis, so it's not an extra stick. But if you're not on dialysis and you don't have a port, yeah, you're going to get a lot of needle sticks, but it, it's worth it to have this checked all the time and to keep, uh, keep up with it because you don't want to have other health problems because of that. I mean, kidney disease and... Being on dialysis is tough enough. You want to take care of yourself as much as you can. Keep yourself uh, active if you can. And uh, try to just uh, eat as healthy as possible. I'll have some more videos on um, eating healthy with kidney disease and being on dialysis soon. But I just want to cover these three main uh, points that you should be uh, always checking on. And because these are the three most important things when you have kidney disease or, di or dialysis that you need to watch. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe so you're aware of uh, when new videos come about. I'll be posting more about dialysis diets, uh, mineral change disease, kidney disease, um, everything like that in the near future. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Please check out the newest video to your right or the suggested video to the left. And please click on the center icon to subscribe to the channel to be notified of all new videos coming in the future. Thanks and have a great day.